listening to the Video Game and Nerd Trivia Podcast with Tony D. Tony D. Video Game and Nerd Trivia Podcast, your episodic dose of trivia covering all things video games and nerdy. Now, here's your host, Tony D. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Video Game and Nerd Trivia Podcast. In today's episode, we're going to be going over three rounds of trivia, in which uh, each round is 10 questions, and the topic for today is Dance Dance Revolution. This was a game that I loved growing up. I didn't play all of them, but I was there for the beginning ones from, let's see, DDR 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, DDR Extreme, Extreme 2, but I kind of fell off after that. But yeah, I was a big fan. I had the hard pad, as they call it, and lost a lot of weight on it. It was such a fun time, you know, making a lot of friends playing that game as well. So yeah, I put together 30 questions today, uh, three rounds of 10 questions each. And I'll ask you a question, give you five seconds of silence, and then I'll tell you the answer. And you know, again, I try to make it an increasing difficulty, but we'll see how it goes. So round one, question one. Who produced the DDR series? That would be Konami. Question two, what arrow directions are used in DDR? That would be up, down, left, and right. Question three, how many players can play DDR at the same time in the arcade? This would be two players. Question four. DDR was released on the home console in 1999. Which game console did it first release on? This was the original PlayStation. Question five. What is the name of the controller that is used by your feet to play DDR? That would be the dance pad or the dance mat. Question six. Smile DK arguably had their most famous song on the first DDR game. What was their song called? This was of course, Butterfly. Question seven. Smile DK also had a song called Boys that also appeared in DDR. What game did it first appear on? This was DDR's second mix. Question 8. What's the name of the iconic, very difficult song that shares its name with a symptom of a psychiatric condition? This would be Paranoia. Question 9. What was the fast remix of Beethoven's Fur Release called in DDR? This is Speed Over Beethoven. In question 10, what is the name of the music game division that DDR falls under? This is Bimani. Alright, that's the end of round 1. Let's get into round 2. Question 1. What year was DDR first introduced? It's 1998. Question 2. Which version of DDR was the first to support DLC of any kind? That was the PC version of the first DDR game. Question 3. What was the name of the first DDR game in which you had characters and music featuring Mickey, Minnie, and other similar characters? That was Dance Dance Revolution Disney Mix. Question 4. In the original release of DDR, what was the only original song on the game? That's Paranoia again by 180. Question 5. How many songs were in the original release of DDR? There were only 11 songs, which is kind of crazy because the later releases had hundreds of songs. But yeah, that first one only had 11 songs in the arcade. 
Question 6. In the early DDR games, songs had a singular difficulty rating system. In which game did DDR get rid of this rating system and replace it with a groove radar? The first time this appeared was DDR Max, so basically before it would just be like a star rating on how difficult the song was, and then the groove radar broke it down to like a hexagon or some kind of shape like that, where um, different properties of the song would be put at different points on that shape. Question 7. Which DDR game introduced the freeze arrow, which is an arrow where you hold it down for the duration of time? This is DDR 6th Mix. Question 8. Which DDR game featured the song In the Navy by Captain Jack? This is DDR 3rd Mix. Question 9. What's the name of the remixed Can Can song in DDR 4th Mix? This is Kick the Can. Question 10. This is a uh, lyrics question. So the lyrics are, When you take me by the hand, tell me I'm your loving man. When you give me all your love, and do it babe the very best you can. What's the name of that song that was also a DDR song? That is, That's the Way I Like It by Casey and the Sunshine Band. Alright, let's get into the last round here, round 3. Question 1. What's the name of the European spin-off of DDR? That would be Dancing Stage. Question 2. What was the name of the Korean dancing game similar to DDR but had 5 panels instead? This had 4 diagonals and a center panel. This was Pump It Up. Question 3. What's the latest DDR arcade game as of 2022? This is Dance Dance Revolution A3, which is pronounced Ace 3. Question 4. In the early days of DDR, there was a viral video of a masked Asian DDR player doing a Crip Walk freestyle performance on the DDR machine. What was the name of the song that he played? The song was called After the Game of Love by NPD3. I know that was a little weird question, but if you know, you know, because that video went viral like crazy. It's funny because he had a really cool performance, but he did not do well in the game. Just look it up. It's, it's kind of cool and funny at the same time. Question 5. As of 2023, what's the fastest DDR song in terms of average beats per minute? That's Tohoku Evolved at 343.4 beats per minute. Question 6. As of 2023, what's the slowest DDR song in terms of average beats per minute? That's I'll Make Love to You. Question 7. In DDR, what is a shock arrow? This is an electrified arrow. And this is an arrow that you're not supposed to press on when you see. If you do, you'll lose combos and points. Question 8. In which game was the shock arrow introduced? This was Dance Dance Revolution X. Question 9. As of August 2023, how many DDR games are there in total? There are 50. That's insane. And finally, last question here. Question 10. What's the name of the PC game released in uh, 2001 that started off as a DDR clone? and has now expanded to other rhythm-based game types.
that is Step Mania. Man, I remembered getting Step Mania early on because I wanted to play custom songs and um, that was not available yet because DDR was still in its infancy stages. And that was so fun, like just playing all those different songs. And I had a DDR pad that was uh, USB and pluggable into the computer. So that made it more fun too. Cause then you could, you just have access to so many more different types of music. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode as I did writing it and feeling nostalgia about it. These days, of course, I don't really play DDR anymore. Any kind of fitness game is more like in VR now for me, which is like Beat Saber, which might be a good topic for the future of VR fitness games. But thank you again so much for listening. And if you like our show, please rate us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or anywhere you're listening to this podcast. It helps other people discover the show as well and if they like it as well. And of course, you guys can always reach out to us on social media. Instagram is VGNT Podcast One. We have a TikTok as well, VGNT Podcast, and our Twitter is VGNT Podcast. Just tag us, DM us if that platform allows you to, and、uh, I'll take that topic into consideration for a future episode. But until next time, trivia on. <laughs>